I'm not here to ask why you need a privacy VPN. And I'm definitely not here to judge or yuck on your yum. I'm just here to show you how to set one up properly in a unified firewall. Whether it's for privacy, security, or other activities, why you need a privacy VPN is your business. And this video, I will show you how to set one up properly and securely so it stays that way. So let's get started. Now this video is not sponsored by PIA or Private Internet Access. They're just a provider I've been using for years. But if you're looking for one and you haven't signed up for one of the many of them that are out there, feel free to click my affiliate link down below because it does help out the channel. Now, if you have a preferred provider or really hate this one, feel free to leave those comments down below, but we'll continue with this and you can then figure out how to do this with other providers because it should work with really any OpenVPN config file provided it is a standard OpenVPN config file from a privacy VPN company. So what you do in private internet access, you sign into your account, you scroll down here to the VPN options that they have to download for different systems. And you want to go to the generate OpenVPN configuration. So we're going to go right here to the OpenVPN generator. We're going to choose OpenVPN 2.4 or newer. We're going to choose Linux and then choose where you want this to come out of. North America, South America, Europe, et cetera. They have all the different options here. I will choose the US California option. Actually, I like Alaska. Seems like a nice place to be this time of year. So let's go ahead and choose Alaska. We're gonna leave this at the standard options right here. Use IP, you might wanna use if you have any troubles with it resolving. What this does is it puts the IP address in versus the DNS, that's optional right there. And then we click generate. I'll just leave it as standard and let it generate the new file. Now over here to my Unify firewall. I am using version 9.0.114. This is what I've tested with. So if the options look different, maybe you have a newer version based on when this video was made, or you're using a prior version you haven't updated, but this is the latest version released in February of 2025. And this is a UDM Pro Max version 4.1.13, but it should work with other versions as well. We're gonna go over here to VPN. We're gonna go to VPN client. Now, a cool thing about PIA is they allow multiple simultaneous connections. So maybe you need to send some data out of Chicago, some data out of Switzerland, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. And we wanna send this one out of Alaska. We're gonna upload our configuration file. Select, we're going to put in our PIA username and password. And then we click apply changes and we'll see it connecting right here. After a moment, it should pause and then get connected. Now that it connected, it wants to know if we want to go to add the policy based route. So we can go ahead and hit proceed. It's just going to take us over to the policy routing. I already have one for routing things out over the Swiss version. So let's show you how to create an entry. The first step is to give the entry a name and we'll call it route to Alaska. Then you can decide what to route, all the traffic or specific traffic. For example, if you wanted to just have a domain name that whenever you went to that domain, it routed out the VPN, you could add that here. You could do it by IP address or you can do it by region. Of note on the domain names as well as they do have this batch add. So you can add a lot at once if you want to. But we're gonna go ahead and route all traffic because the next thing we wanna do is pick the source. And for the sources, we can say everything on this system or a specific subnet. Maybe you want your guest subnet or any other subnet to route out a VPN. And you can go down the list here and look at all the devices. For example, if we wanted to say, take Tom's phone, we could check it, hit save, and now my phone will route out the VPN. We can also add other devices in here. I wanna use a system called Chasm. I actually do want this to route out the VPN. So we'll hit save. This is another system on my network, but you can save multiple systems in here. Then you select the interface by which you want to go out. And we're gonna choose the Alaskan interface, but as you've seen, the other ones are an option in here. Optionally forward match traffic using standard routing your WAN in case specified interface is no longer available. What this allows you to do is if you check the box, when this VPN, the Interface Tunnel PIA Alaska or anyone that's chosen here is not available, it will then go ahead and just send out the normal traffic. That's not always what you want. I actually want these devices to either go out this PIA or don't go out at all. End of story. So that's why by default, I'd prefer to leave this unchecked. We're going to go ahead and add the entry. Now, this is my Chasm server. And what Chasm does is allow me to spin up temporary browsers and temporary services, essentially. And this is a dedicated server running in my network that we've just told it to route out of Alaska. So if I open up a dedicated Chrome tab here, running Chasm, lets me know it's uh, ready to work. 
Let's go to ifconfig.co. I could have gone to what's my IP, but this seemed fine. We can see the IP address of 84239524, and we see the region as Alaska. Pretty simple, it has now routed this out. And if I open up my phone, I'd see the same thing. So what if we wanna make a change to this? Let's go ahead and back to our Unify and show you how easy it is to change. We're back over here at our routes and we're gonna take Chasm out. We're gonna hit apply. Then we're gonna to go to our route out PA Swiss. I have another one here and let's uh, move Chasm so it comes out of Switzerland. Go here, hit save, apply changes. Now we can go back over to Chasm and with a quick refresh of the page, now I'm in Switzerland. It's that simple to switch where you want it to route from. But let's go ahead and kill the VPN and see what happens. So I'm gonna go here to manage and I have it attached to the Swiss one. So we're gonna click here and we're just gonna pause this particular VPN. So hit pause. Are you sure you wanna pause it? Absolutely. Hit done. And this will go dark in a second. Come back over here to the chasm and nothing. It's actually not going to be able to go to Google. It's not going to be able to go anywhere because we've killed it. And because we don't have a fallback to route it back over WAN, it is now lost internet access. It'll just sit here. I've also SSH'd into Chasm and I can try to ping something. We'll try to ping, ping Cloudflare. Once again, it doesn't go anywhere. It's dead. Now, as I said earlier, this should work with more than just PIA VPN. That's just the one I had, the one I tested it with, with the exception of, yes, I've connected it to things like my Toledo Lab. That was the other VPN in there. And that, once again, just an open VPN config file. WireGuard is supported. I just have not done any testing with it. I found OpenVPN to be adequate for my needs, but you know, I'm sure that is a feature you may want and feel free to experiment with it because the policy routing that they have in Unify works the same no matter what VPN you're using when you're setting the Unify system up as a client VPN. But I love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. And connect with the end of socials at lawrencesystems.com. You'll find whatever socials I'm on when you go there. All right, and thanks. Lawrence Systems thanks our sponsors for their support.